They'd be talking about for years. My Coupe de Grasse, my Tour de France. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You can't stop me. <laughs> I wasn't safe. I could feel the hot breath of the law on my neck. There was a huge chase. A chase so enormous and far-reaching it took me clear through the Lincoln Tunnel to Hoboken, where I took refuge in one of my many hideouts. The cops wouldn't let up for a second. I had a move. I was running for my life, and no place was too far, too dangerous. Not even Brooklyn. Let me move. Come on, they're running. They got me by air, by the air, by sea. No one ever escaped me. No one hides. I'm a boy, see? No one hides. No one gets out of the way. All eyes turned to Howie, and public opinion was split. That Howie was one mean sucker. I kept running and never looked back. But I knew my days was numbered, and then I hit it. The end of the line. The law came down hard. Justice may be blind, and it ain't too coordinated, neither. So I landed in the cooler, but I wasn't no slouch, and I wasn't no mama's boy, neither. I kept a stiff upper lip and didn't complain about the living conditions, which wasn't exactly first class. I made the best of the social scene, too. I had a winning personality and made some close friends. No. I was getting used to incarceration until... Hey, Howie! Did you see the paper this morning? What's this? What's this? No. Whoa! Then I voted for the backstabbing double-crossing weasel. No, 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 no. He did it just for you, Howie! Uncle Howie. 
is that story really true? Well, if that story isn't true, let my dead pappy rise from the grave and split me open like a pillowcase. Nah.